Hi guys and ladies, spring is finally here and I miss fishing for bass. Experts say that small bass need to be removed in almost all private ponds. That way the rest can grow bigger. Well luckily, I stumbled on a five star bass recipe to take advantage of our culling. So I went bass fishing yesterday and well here's what happened. I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. All right, a little, 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 oh, in the boat, he's safe. This is the size that we need to remove from the lake, say the biologists. You'll see more in the notes below. I know it sounds counterintuitive. Let's string them up. There's one right at the boat. Yes, right under the boat. Look at this thing! Oh my goodness, look at this! I never saw such a fat perch, yellow perch in my life. Decision time. Should I keep it for food? <gasps> look at that! 11 and 3 quarters inches. I'm gonna let her go. I can't keep a pregnant fish. What is it? Oh, it's another miniature bass. We've got to remove them. Too many of these little ones. I'll show you what I'm catching fish on. This is called a Z-Man Finesse TRD, standing for the real deal, also called the Nedrick. And you know, this is a great lure. There's only one problem with it. The name is too long. It should be called Pondmeister, maybe. Oh, got a fish. I'm not kidding. Whoa! All right! The Pondmeister. A good one, a good one, a good one. Look at this guy. Help! I need another hand here. Ah, come on, honey. Come on, baby. Oh, look at this guy. A monster. I knew this was the time of the year when the big ones are out. Look at that. A monster. This guy is 19 inches. Pretty good. I have to return him to the water. He's not a good eating fish anyway. And these are the kind that we need to preserve in this lake. is this big another one see why i call the little ones out so the others could reach their potential this one's 20 and a half inches bigger than the last let's get her back in the water
so small. He's coming out of the lake. There seems to be no end of these little guys. They make good eating, though. Come on. Yes! I said, come on, and there it is. Another baby bass. Like sardines. I, I should can them. Looky here, we've got seven little anchovies here. So let's get in the house and fillet them because it's getting late. Tomorrow we'll use these guys in our recipe. spring, but it was cold, gray, drizzly, and foggy yesterday, but I stuck it out and I was able to produce almost a pound and a half of these nice little bass fillets. Plus, we hooked a couple of memorable giants. Now, I'd like to try making pan-fried bass with lemon, garlic, herb, butter sauce. That's right, but first let's do a quickie side. I have to slice this garlic very thinly. I saw this done once in a gangster movie. I think it was the Goodfellas. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I have to grate a lemon. Oh yeah, I see it now. Look, I got broccoli florets. I'm so lazy, I buy them already floretted. I'm gonna just cut them a little bit more. Here's our broccoli. Now I'm, I'm gonna put three or four tablespoons of olive oil all over it. Now I'm going to put some of our garlic all over it. Here's about a teaspoon of salt. And now pepper. Now with this spoonula, I'm going to try to toss and turn everything. I've got the oven set to 425, and I'm gonna put our little green toddlers in for 21 minutes and 34 seconds. I'm late. It's been 21 minutes and 36 seconds. Oh, I love it. I used to hate broccoli. As a matter of fact, until just recently I hated it. But this already looks good, and we've got more to do to it. Now this only gets better. Let's add a couple tablespoons more of olive oil, a couple tablespoons of lemon juice, Remember our lemon zest? Let's put that in there. And now the Coupe de Grassi. This is Pecorino Romano. I've got a half cup here. Here the cheese is important, so use good stuff. If you use Parmesan, make sure it's good. Oh, this is smelling so good. Finally, it's onto the fish, and all I'm going to do is lightly salt and pepper both sides. The fish recipe says one quarter cup of mild fresh herbs such as basil. Well, I have basil here, but what do I do with it? I guess chop it. Here's one whole stick of unsalted butter. Unsalted, we're gonna melt that. In this bag, I have a cup of flour and our fish, and I'm just gonna shake it up. Ah, ah, ah. This is not ordinary flour. You know it has to be low carb. This is all-purpose low-carb flour. I'm sure you could use almond flour, but let's try this. I need to use this up. Let's get our fish in the frying pan. After two minutes with these little guys, we flip. We'll go another minute and a half. That's it, they're done. Look how nice. Oh yeah. 
I'm going to add another half stick of unsalted butter to the pan. Here's more sliced garlic, remember? Let's cook it a while and watch for it to turn light brown. Well, I have a second you should know. I've invited the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, to dinner tonight. And she'll be here any minute. And I, I'm elated, but I should temper my euphoria. You see, we've been uh, seeing each other uh, for almost 53 years now, and she seems to, you know, always dodge my hints at getting married. If only I could dispel her negativity toward marriage uh, and maybe point out some of the perks. Oh well. I think our garlic's ready. I'm going to add almost like a half cup of uh, chopped basil here. Then we'll cut the heat off. Our heat's off and the very last thing, a few tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. We'll just pour this over the fish and we're done. Here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, uh, wretched ranch. And you had a chance to uh, fervently feed on my pan fried bass with lemon garlic herb butter and also my broccoli, and I am dying to know what you thought of that. It was all very good. I thought the garlic, the lemon garlic herb butter was really well done, and it wasn't overdone with the garlic, and the the, the uh, broccoli was cooked very well, and it, it was flavorful, and the fish was very good. It was nicely coated, and, and the sauce really added to it. Thank I, you. I had to slice the garlic very thin for yeah, both uh, the side dish and the main yeah. dish. <laughs> You know, uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can say Lulu now. Yes. You know, our young friends Tony and Angelina have now been married 25 years. And for their anniversary, Tony's taking her to Tahiti. Nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and can you imagine what he'll do for her for their 50th anniversary? Uh, he'll pick her up again. Huh? Oh, uh, can I have a hug? <laughs>